Welcome back once again to New England Skilled Trades. I'm going to go over water pipe sizing. It's a real simple one. Just a little refresher for you. It's based off of Mass CMR 248. The chart in their book. It's what they use in Massachusetts. All right, right here you have the fixtures or devices, the nominal pipe size in inches, and their coinciding factor values. So everything that's half inch will be a factor value of two. Everything that's 3 eighths will be a factor value of 1, 3 quarter, 6. Down here we have 1, which is flush on style, and you get a factor value of 12. So you get to know those. In table 2, you get to know the demand factor. Typically, if you're sizing your own stuff, it's probably a one or two family dwelling. So you take your factor value after you add up all these, all your factors throughout the whole house or whatever you're sizing and you're going to multiply it by 0.5 some of the stuff you need to know when you start doing larger stuff like this will be engineered for you but if you're going to add something on maybe add a bathroom or a laundry room you'd have to you'd have to know how to size it this way and how to plug in these into the equation you're doing but for today we're going to use a one for one or two family dwelling as an example so you get all your so you get your factor values from all your fixtures, multiply it by your demand factor, and you come down here under table three, your service means and rises or branches, depending on what you're sizing. Come to your capacity value, and then you, you find where it lies between this column and this column. So today we're gonna to do a real simple drawing, just, just as a reminder or as a beginner. Here we have a water meter, water heater, service sink, and laundry valve. So keep something in mind. You just gotta orientate yourself. Everything on this hot line here, this hot line here coming out of the water heater, is gonna have the factor values and the capacity of everything on the hot side. And th this leg in the water heater will be equal to this leg because the only thing that's on this is all the hot water on this cold but at this T you're gonna have everything that's on the cold off this branch and then off the meter you can have both everything that's on the cold and everything that's on the hot so here we go you have a laundry valve a factor value of two for the hot two for the cold and you also have your service sink, a factor value of two for the hot, two for the cold. So your factor value totals are four hot, four cold. Your grand total factor values are eight. So you take eight, multiply it by the demand factor, which is we use in the residential, one or two family factor values, which is 0.5. Eight times 0.5 gives you four. Now you multiply, now you take that four and you go back to capacity values 1.1 to four, half inch. Three eighths is too small, obviously. But keep in mind your smallest water main is three quarter inch. But right here, this is just a branch. This is just a section of your water pipe. It's just for example. But if you had a whole house, you just go around. If, if you take it by section, it's a lot easier. Do your sections and then follow, follow your branches and your rises and, and, and just break it down that way. If you take your time, it's just as simple as doing this. All right, we'll do another one. All right, find us on LinkedIn. Ask us questions at nestedvideos at gmail or comments or whatever you like. And make sure you subscribe and tell a friend. Thank you.